Working with Gary and Nikki was awesome, um, but it also taught me that I have a lot to learn as far as the difference between stunt work and actual martial arts, which I do have experience in, but it's a completely different world. As you're going down, which is good, you're getting this elbow in, but you're sort of tucking this one, so say for our sort of purposes, you want to just make that one a little bit looser. So as you're sort of going down, it's like these up here sort of thing, do you know what I mean? It's as if, you know, enhances the violence of the front. The difference is for basic Krav Maga self-defense, like we're taught to, you know, defend ourselves and have a guard and, um, you know, basic street defense. But for stunts, you're kind of having to over-exaggerate your body and be very loose and not be on the defense because you're not actually getting hit, but you're having to show. So it's a theatrical version of, you know, what you're trying to portray. Hi, I'm Zoran Korach, and I'm playing the villain in Breaking Chains. It was great working with Gary, uh, knowing what he's done, seeing him work. I mean, it's just it's fascinating, so I'm really excited to work with him. We just did the basics, but just hearing the specifics of movement and falling and distancing your, your punches so you don't end up hurting someone. I want to be very in tune to that because I want to make sure I don't hurt her. If I'm here and my full extension sort of He's tapped, no matter how hard I kick, I'm only touching him, sort of thing, you know what I mean? It's like if I punch him and I'm at the end of my reach, no matter how hard I punch, it's going to be there. But if I come in close and then I push and I do it with force, there's a lot more power there. Now, if you're going to kick up, you know, you're going to sort of do it. You sort of do it in a way where, you know, you sort of start to move and then you take it over and all that sort of stuff, where it's not going to hurt you, because that constant jar, her. Because this isn't the general choreography you would see in a film um, versus just being messy and realistic, it's just so choppy and having to really capture that emotion in that moment is going to be, you know, challenging for any actor, I think. The best way to make that look real is to do it for real. You know, it's like shake, 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 just drag someone, you drag them across the floor and just throw them down. I'm excited to work with Gabby because she's fearless and that's important when doing a fight scene because I could be stuck with someone who's very timid and that would make it very difficult on my part to to kind of really sell it. This is why we're working with, you know, Gary to minimize any damage caused to each other um, since it's going to be brutal. If you're on the floor, you're kicking and screaming and it is. Sometimes the only way to do that is to kick and scream and then you come in and take what you can sort of thing. You know what I mean, keep it yeah. at the end of the kick, you literally just I think the most challenging part of today was just the realization of having to mix that emotional side of the character with the actions that we're trying to portray. That's it, that's better. Well, that's all better. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and in that moment, just kind of go for it and if you're working with another actor who's able to do that, that's the key thing.